Hi, today's problem is a woman sues a man for the support of her child. She has type A blood, her child has type O, and the man has type B. Could the man be the father? Explain your answer. If you need the time to think how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here, solve this problem, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, let me first remind you all the blood type groups and um, also genotypes that make these phenotypes. So, first blood group would be blood group A. And two genotypes can make this blood group. This can be AA genotype and AO. The second blood group would be B. And uh, also two blood um, two genotypes can make this blood group. This is BB and BO. Also, we may have a uh, AB blood group and only one genotype makes this blood group it is AB there is no other variants and the last group would be blood group O and only one genotype would make this blood group it is OO genotype so uh, this alleles A and B are codominant. So here we see that blood group AB is made by a genotype A and B. So we have allele A and B and both of them would be expressed. That's why we have phenotypically blood groups that we call AB. And if for example um, allele A would be dominant over the B, the blood group would be A or vice versa. And here uh, you see that blood group A uh, has a genotype, one of the genotypes is AO because A is dominant over the O. And uh, here in blood group B we also have uh, allele B dominant over the allele O. So allele O would be recessive to both allele B and allele A. So that's why a blood group O is made by this genotype OO. Because this allele is recessive, we need two alleles to make this blood group. So now we can solve this problem. And as you see, uh, mother belong to the blood group A. So this blood group here. And father belong to the uh, blood group B, so this one. And uh, the child belong to the blood group O, so to this one. So is it possible that uh, two people that belong to this blood group and to this would uh, have a child who is belonging to this blood group? And as you see, one of the variants for the blood group A is heterozygous that is uh, that has allele A and O and in blood group uh, B we also have uh, one variant that is B O genotypically so if we cross these two genotypes uh, for example female would be on this side and her genotype would be A O and male would be on this side and genotype would be B O. When we cross these two people or these two genotypes, we would have um, A B here, B O here, A O here, and O O here. So uh, this is going to be blood group. O here and as you see yes there is such possibility that when we cross uh, male of this blood group female of this blood group that uh, 
some of the children might belong to the blood group O. And the probability would be one quarter. So our answer would be yes. These two people may have uh, a child who belongs to the blood group O. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.